All right, everyone, welcome back. Hope you got your popcorn. Hope you got your snacks. Hope you got your drinks. We're back with Level Up 2. I am Topic. I'm here with Corona as my co-commentator as we're getting ready to watch round two, which is going to be... Corona, introduce the teams for us. We got Inked versus Gigi Waston. Yeah, I like I like the name too. Very, I like the like the name too. So yeah, uh, I heard I you said you 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 know Inked, right? Like you've heard of them before, right? Oh, I mm, I know I know them. Oh, they got my number. No, I'm just kidding. In a good way. In a good way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about them? You know. So it has been a while. Topic. I'll be real with you, but Inked. They've got De- Deceased, which I believe is their captain. You can flame me on Twitter if you're not the captain Deceased. But they play a Nautilus, so I think we got a Nautilus here topic. As well as Batson, which if I remember correctly, which I'm going to get flamed again number times two on Twitter, plays Tri-Slasher. And then we got Snow, who plays Splash, I believe. And then Funyo has been on their team for a bit. I don't remember what they play. But, um, yeah, my... Back on my old team, I I used to scrim the, these guys quite a lot, and we were actually kind of their level. So now they're now they're pretty good. So not on their level anymore. Oh, uh, I mean that's why they're here. You know, mid level trying mm-hmm. to get more experience. It works. Higher level competition. So yeah, that that's a little explanation on Inked. Do you, how about GG Watson? That sounds like a pickup to me. Uh, or do you know they're the team? No, they, uh, they they are a team, and I don't know if they've done much, but they did. They were really prominent in low ink, I think, last year. They definitely have gotten banned, but I, I've definitely heard the, of the name before. Um, I just don't know much about them. Well, we're going to learn a little bit, at least a little bit about them, as we're going to start our second set in a little bit. But let's talk about, you know, the first map mode, Clan Blitz Museum. And I think, personally... This is one of the best map ball combinations in the hmm. whole game. I'm trying to think, you know, I, I've got to get constructive or, or some criticism here if I if I have it. You know, I just got to make sure I, uh, I'm forgetting the word here, topic, but I don't say anything. I'm, you know, I'm not trying to say here. Make sure I say the correct stuff. You're uh, pulling out the Google that. Doc? You're pulling I'm out pulling the Google out the Doc? Google. No, I'm just kidding. I don't... <laughs> No, I don't have a Google Doc here, but um, I think it's all right. Um, actually, I think it's more than all right here. I don't think it's. I think I'll give it an A. Topic. I'll give it an A. I'll, I'm for, giving uh, it. Apple Beats. I'm giving it a, a, a plus. A it's plus a, for Applebee's Premium. Applebee's is garbage. So <laughs> that's the, the, the first thing that came to my head with an A. Sorry, Apple Premium. Apple Plus. Is Apple, Apple bad? Like, I don't know. like Apple Care or like apples? Like, what are you talking about? Either. I mean. All right. Brand, uh, anyways, enough enough apples. Um, so yeah, I th- yeah, like I said, I think this is one of the one of the best map modes in the whole game because it's kind of there's a lot of options, especially with that. Um, you have like a lot. You have four or five ways out of your spawn, which you know very rare for this okay. game. More you than have one. more than one. You have a, like three different ways to go mid or to score. You have the box jump. More than one. Right. Yeah, more than one. You have, okay. uh, how do I say this? You have the box jump, you have the mid jump, and you have the right, the right side, uh, um, ramp. So I think the openness of this of this map combined with the kind of freedom that Clan Blitz allows, that just kind of mixes together in just this really well oiled machine of a game mode, which that's like very back and forth at times, because you know it's just how the map works. Or how the map mode works. And yeah, I just think it'll be very interesting to see how these teams play play on this map mode. All I heard was you, three more than one path. So, hey, I'm, I'm ready for it. I mean, I that is part of it. I did say that too. So, let's, let's see how <laughs> these teams will adjust to it. As we are getting into our first round, or first game of round two. And topic, someone's lagging. And it ain't Someone. me. It ain't me either. <laughs> they say they say there Twitter every three people here lag, but there it is. Splat Dooley is very interesting. Not really. Oh, but there it is. One of my favorite weapons in this game. Custom Dooley Squelcher is very unique play style with the chumps. The mm-hmm. beacon just to have everyone everywhere. It, that should be very, very good on. That should be very, very useful here. 
And like I said, we well I got I got deceased right with the Nautilus, but I'm sorry, Snow. I did not say down, my bad. But coming into this match here, already one down on both sides. We got both sides oh, have tactical two down. Yeah, and Snow Snow's already down here, so quite unfortunate. Yeah, we yeah, we see a, that was a huge mid fight. I think the tactical that kind of helped with the 52 RNG to get two of them. But we see uh, Inked just already up in the, already up on plat. They got a, they got a bunch of clams at the ready. They got a power at the ready. They just need to get one or two more picks, and that'll be a great, great opening push. I apologize to our viewers. We do have, oh, there we go. We did just flip them, but. Uh, for for a good minute there, you saw that Inks was in blue. But uh, continuing here, at the, I like that throw there. Good team play there. Already showing that they are god gamers. But step here with the tactical buff here. Just look at look at all this pain. Doing their job correctly here. I give it a thumbs up. Uh, topic. Pain zapping. Pain zapping. End zap. Exactly. Zapping. End zap. But yeah, the crap of get just finds one, and now that. It looks like Ink has played a little bit of defense, not a lot, because it looks like uh, GG Watson is just trying to force their way in as they do get the Nautilus down, and the Zuka comes out, doesn't get anything though. So, like, Zuka is, of course, one of the most volatile struggles in the game. You yeah, either get a lot of value or next to nothing. Yeah, I just had to play the Seinfeld thing for that little drop into a death. <laughs> As I believe deceased just dropped from the ledge there, and there was just a uh, a GG Weston player just sitting there. So really unfortunate there, but they do have two balls topic, and for people, I something I just don't realize is that actually gets a special bonus. So both teams have two here, and they're getting a lot of special bonus here. And here comes the jumps and the bombs and everything for GG Weston. They're ready to go. Yeah, it looks like they're ready to go. They got the plans at the ready. Their ink is two down. Their basket is just protected by the 52, but that wall, very useful. And he does get a double kill, which buys his team a lot of time. As now, GG Watson has to back up a little bit, eat to regroup, and just wait to get, a, hopefully get another chance to do something. It looks like they might get it right now as ink goes two down again. As long as they have that uh, crab there, I... I I think they're really okay because if, if you've really seen, Watson has had a great, two great chances to score, but out of nowhere, Crab is popped and they get obliterated here. So look at Crab is online right now, and if I'm GG Watson, I gotta find a way to get that Crab out of there because you're not getting into the site here if you real if they have a Crab. There's just no way to. There's no way. Yeah, the crab does kind of shut down a lot of what they can do, and there's that defense we were talking about. The crab didn't wasn't even popped. That's just good ink defense, as they managed to get three down, and the crab is used aggressively. Um. Instead, he does pick off the CDS here, looking for a second one. He might get it. Looks like he got an assist for the splatter shot, and now just like that, in a matter of five seconds, ink is on. Inked is now pushing up and. GG Watson's on their back foot. You know, Topic, if we've learned anything here, these teams, well, maybe not anymore as 50 is now on the board here for Ink, but in the last four minutes here, maybe a little bit less than four minutes, no points were scored, and that just shows really how equal these teams were. We, we noticed that they both had two power clams at one point, I was talking about specials and stuff, and none of them got scored, so... It, while yes, the scoreboard right now shows that Int is very much dominant, for most of this match they weren't. Yeah, it was very, very even. It took one good push. Like, they got to 50 in like one, one like I said, one push. And it, it took a couple minutes, but they did manage to get it as the cooler does jump in. He does, and the end zap does go down, unfortunately. And now with 20 seconds, it looks like Ink is in the driver's seat. As they're just trying to Boom. say, they're trying to say, hey, GG Watson, you're not going anywhere. You're not scoring. Stay back and stay out of our play. I'm not sure if we've seen oh. that many specials from GG Watson as the clam does go in there. And now they're going to have three. Uh, understand, if they get all three of them in, that's uh, that's a win for GG Watson. Yeah, that's so they, they need all three to win. It looks like they're going to try to push it up as 
quick as possible, but the crab comes in clutch in the 52, and the crab comes in clutch, getting a triple kill, canceling an inkjet. It is only the ball point. He does go down. All three power clams get destroyed, and that is going to be game. What good defense from Inked. Uh, yeah, they showed a lot of pressure there on defense, and that's why no points were scored, but understand here that Inked, if they didn't have that good of defense, Gigi Wasa could have easily won that game with that blunder. I, I think getting that power clam was a true blunder, as they didn't get any extra in, and they're giving them a free pro power clam there. So uh, if we do the math, quick math here, uh, 20 plus 20 plus 20 topic is 60, correct? That That's more than 50, so... <laughs> um, I, I, that is why, with quick maths, I think that was a blunder. But, Ink takes game one here. Tell us a little bit about map two topic. All right, map two. What is it, map two? Map two is Haggle zones fish. Hagglefish. All right, <laughs> Hagglefish, um, what I can really say is there, if you can watch the two main sideways, there isn't really much to go i say you see a lot of like splatlings on this map you see mm -hmm. a lot of crabs on this map zookas on this map because it you just have to go forward like there's no real like ways to go sideways other than those two long hallways but other than that you have to go forward so range and paint really does help here for sure all i'm seeing with this map hagglefish spot zones is that we got tower control manta marian or sorry Michael Mart next, and uh, I would like to get there, so um, I hope we can get to map three. Uh, hot take I don't like Michael Mart, I know that's kind of community taboo to not like Michael Mart, but I just don't like it, it's just not for me. I get it, it's a good overall map, but yeah, it's just not for me. But yeah, it looks like we're gonna get started in game two in just a little bit. Yeah, but um, you you hate hey, you can hate Michael Mark Tower Control, but you cannot hate on a game three. That's that's for sure. Topic. Can we agree with I, that? I can't hate on game three. I just don't like the stage. <laughs> hey, we have disagreements, but what we cannot disagree is that is battle time on Spot Zones, Hacklefish. Yeah, it is battle time. Let's see how both teams will adjust to the map. I think Inked is in a really good spot here because their comp does kind of work on this map. Let's see if anything will change. Looks like nothing changes. But we do see the ZF Charger trying to... Let me see the ZF Charger trying to pick off anyone from the back line. And just rain terror from above. That for sure here. Look at that. These Dewey's just trying to get a lot of paint down. But now here in the zone, it is not going anywhere. I think this is going to be a long match here. As we saw, a very big stalemate last round. Obviously it is clam boots, but... Now the tactic cooler is out. The two specials perfectly are out there. And two down. Oh, that's three down on the side of Ink. And that's a big, that's a delayed wipeout. Mm -hmm. As GG Watson just pushing up. They're doing the zones thing. They're doing the hagglefish thing of just trying to sneak up under their, the opponent's ramp and not get caught out. See anyone drops, anyone drops forward. Guess what? They get splatted and sent back to home base. As we see, that's exactly what happens. But Ink is trying to, but they don't get it as the as the timer is still going for GG Watson. And the timer is indeed ticking here, and they're showing a very dominant and something we really didn't see in this last match and on Clam Butts, where the 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 crab is not really taking over and over putting that defense on for Ink then. Speaking of crab, here we have it. This is going to be their last hope here as the tri strike comes out for GG Watson. 15 seconds remaining topic. What will they do? Let, let's, we'll have to see. They use three specials to get in. This knowledge does go down. And just like that, GG Watson just 100 to 0 to inked, which is insane considering how last game both teams were super mm -hmm. even. But now it was GG Watson just being very very dominant they they held zone they never let it go they never let loose they just showed ink that hey we've come to play and we're not getting too old gg austin heard my cry for game three and they're like uh -huh. we'll make it happen
Uh, that's why I that's why I heard topic. Uh, you, I didn't you hear that. Differ. You didn't hear that? Oh, well. I begged. I begged to differ. You might need some hearing aids. Uh, because it was it was pretty loud. I'm not gonna lie. All right. Well, anyways, we're going to game three. TC Make a Mart. I made my feelings known. I do not like Make a Mart. I like Make a Mart. I don't like Make a Mart. GGs. Have a good day. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is. But yeah, um, um, is it the best mode on Make a Mart? Not at all. But um, Tower Control, you can't go wrong with Tower Control. Um, even as a brush main, for whatever reason, uh, if you play brushes, you're inclined to hate Tower Control because, uh, well, when you're on the tower, it just, you know, it just doesn't work. But um i'm a god gamer on tower control so any tower control i think is my favorite topic here but um michael mart hey how many uh ways in do you have more than one how many ways more than one that's all i gotta say more than Just one more way than to one. get in and more than one way to get out that's what i like it, yeah i think i think that's i can agree on that there's many ways out but I think tower control on this map is really interesting since the tower path kind of goes into, like, where enemies will drop the most, you know what I mean? Because it goes right in front of Snipe, right in front of the... right into Freezer. So that kind of... that's kind of like a big risk. So I think both teams know that they need to get at least three down to, like, safely push past second checkpoint and maybe get to third checkpoint in the same push. But that it is gonna be kind of close. But let's see how these teams will adjust as it's battle time, and we will go be going to Mako Mart for our game three. Make a Mart indeed here, and I'm not sure we'll see any changes here. But hey, our eyes will see right now. I don't think there was any changes there on Int, but there is definitely a change here for GG Weston. Yeah, they go with the triple shooter. They said the duelies. They worked, but they ain't working. They are not working here, so they go with the crab instead, which can be useful since if you can get, if you can get a crab set up on the enemy snipe, they have nowhere to go. They are just gonna just say, "Okay, you guys win. Uh, we can't push any forward." As the 52 does go down on the side of Ink, that's two down already. That's three down. That's almost a wipeout in the first 30 seconds. As GG Watson's already playing on a strong showing for why they should move on. For sure, and actually, I was really looking at that fire fin because, well, <laughs> we've not seen anything in the uh, sniper category, the charger category today, and the fire fin is a strong contender. And Ooh, it's down one. for the count here. They really need to get back on this tower, but now two down, now three, and they, three, three got down. Tapped. They yeah, got they have. They got the tag. That's another three down for the side of ink. No, is not going right. It's nothing's going right for them as they they keep trying to find a way in. Looks like it's not really going to work. As they do manage to stop tower just for a little bit, they do go two down again. The, the 52 here just dancing, trying to get a kill. He does manage to go one for one, but that doesn't stop the push as GG Watson is still going. But the Duelies gets a very very clean kill, and that might be the end of the first push. That oh, never mind. The crabs on tower. Wow. Yeah, that was a great kill, but it looks like the push is still going to be going as the Dewey's go down. The 52 goes down. It's now two down on the side of Inks as the Splash, doing what all shooters do, jump on the snipe and just try to say, hey, you cannot come here. They throw burst bombs and do whatever they want. 39 is really hard to top to get past. So once again, obviously you were talking about how tough quarters here and once you get past to this checkpoint here, and, and now they've got that checkpoint, it, it's going to be very hard for him to actually get through anything and really, if, if they stop him here, because really it's a snowball curve there where once you get through that checkpoint, usually it's game over, but you need to keep it alive here. While it's not looking great, they do keep it alive here and they're doing the main thing, get picks. Picks are really good as well as getting paint and they're doing a great job at both of those here as uh whale is now on yeah what you said there paint because as if you saw during their entire push gg watson just had all of the map covered in their paint the, uh ink could not move they made sure that if any ink player was caught out like hey we see them they got them and they got the picks and it looks like ink is gonna try to do that in return 
but they do go one down as they try to push even further but the splash here doing splash being trying to be annoying with the cooler in effect it looks like he does stay alive and this will be the end of the first push for ink first and maybe the last i'm just kidding he don't get it's all right you got two minutes left to go here but zen getting a nice kill here almost gonna get number two but is getting punished oh. by two hitting it with Oh my god, Isabella's like, nah, that's my friend, get out of here. And really, look at his paint, as, as you were talking about Topic. He is now in control of Gigi Watson. Yeah, Gigi Watson, they have all the... How do, they have the most important areas covered, I would say. They have mid, they have right under their enemy snipe, they have the right stack covered. I think those are the three most important places to have painted when you are pushing but let's see how they'll translate as ink is still trying to push as they can't seem to get past 72 as the defense from gg watson is just too good as they do manage to go three as gg watson does go three now but it looks like they won't be able to get anything off of it as this might be ink's final chance because they have a minute left but the try strike just denies the dually the crab the cooler comes out for ink and let's see how they can use that to their advantage let's see indeed here as a jump comes out if i'm inked we got 45 seconds for me you guys no time we need to be on tower now pronto and that is uh just kidding they just lost it here but they someone needs to stay on uh, you got 30 seconds remaining you need to be on as long as possible here and they did get the first checkpoint which is still pretty important here but the second and checkpoint here at around 35 is the most important here. they got 20 seconds to get through it they're still going they still going they're at they're at 50 looks like they're are they're gonna try and make this final hurrah to the third checkpoint as they do manage to get it there they're five points away two points oh actually they're two points away from getting the checkpoint they're at that 32 but oh they're on tower but that's gonna be it they do break the checkpoint but GG Watson does take it from them, and that is going to be the set 2-1 in favor of GG Watson. Yeah, Ink put a great performance there at the end, but it was not enough here. But again, like we were saying in our first match, we still have our loser's bracket here. And hey, you can make a long loser's bracket run, so it is not over. These folks get at least two games to play, two sets, I should say, to play. And again... This was a great set, so even if Ink does go down uh, first or whatnot, I would be happy with this set as it, it, these teams are really close, so even with a tournament like this. So nonetheless, though, we are going to be taking a break before we get into our round three. Round three coming up soon. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.